Hey guys, what's going on? So today in this video, I wanted to do a top 10 best Android Wear apps of 2015. Now I know I've never done a video on my Android Wear watch, but of course I'm going to do one right now since I already have the Moto 360. Uh, this is by Google, by the way. Obviously you would know that. So I thought, why not make top 10 best apps that I use personally? Uh, we're going to do five watch faces and five applications that are supported for Android Wear. So let's start it off with my favorite watch face. It's called Forms Watch Face. Now this watch face is for Android Wear and it's based on the typeface used for the form on Google I.O.'s website design conference. It's very smooth, the animations are great and it feels like, I don't know, it just feels simple. I can see the colors changing and the animations look just amazing. If I tap on it, nothing's gonna happen. I can hold it down, it's just a watch face basically. So it looks nice, you can change the colors up. You have a bunch of varieties, so let's do, for example, yellow. There we have a yellow theme. If you swipe to the right once more, you have unread. You can turn on the date, turn on the seconds. This is my personal watch face. I like to use it a lot. All right, so the next watch face I wanted to show you guys is called Illustration Watch Faces by BA. And this is a dollar in the Google Play Store. So what you're gonna be paying for is illustrations uh, watch faces that actually look very nice and make your watch faces look very unique here You have an elephant. It looks nice. You have the time uh, In that in that cool font. I actually used that font before it looks really cool uh, You all you also have the battery itself and you have the date as well. So here's the other one you have an owl You can see it looks nice. It has the letters are basically the time and you have an octopus the octopus looks great and the last one is just a skull uh, it's really pink and it might fit your style if you wear pink clothes or something. Uh, I don't really use this one personally because I don't really uh, like it that much, but it looks dope nonetheless. Illustration Watch Faces by VA, a dollar. All right guys, so the next application we're checking out is called Dress Watch and this is free in the Google Play Store. With this, it will match your outfit with the picture that you have selected, your watch face will, and you have five to choose from, so this is one of them. Uh, it looks really nice. I really don't know how to tell the time on this though. There weren't really, oh, uh, there could be an instruction in the application, but uh, for some reason, I didn't see it. So we're gonna look it up and see what it looks like on Android. You have to go into your Android device and open the application up on itself. Here you can actually see the watch face and there's five others to choose from and automatically you can see them changing right then and there. Uh, so they looked very nice. We're gonna switch through each one and you can see they are all in black and white. Now, the reason I enjoy this watch face is because it will match with your current outfit. So what you'll have to do is take a picture of yourself with what you're wearing currently. I took a picture of my outfit that day and uh, that's actually the NKBHD shirt. So I currently only want what I'm wearing, so probably my shirt. And I'm gonna select that and it will automatically come up with colors that you should wear. You have to choose two colors. So I'm gonna choose probably that one and let's say, uh, that one and now we're going to select that these are the current colors that should go with my watch face This is what it looks like. So here are the other colors. You can have a variety of colors personally I really like the ones that they have set for you check it out in the Google Play Store. It's free So the next application is called Un Petit Monde watch face. I hope I said that right I probably didn't but it's whatever so this is a free application in the Google Play Store and it, of course it's a cool watch face that you can choose from so with this you have a time-lapse video in the background that matches with the daylight and weather that you are currently in. So if it's nighttime, it will be night. If it's daytime, you have a daytime watch face. And if it's during the middle of the afternoon, it will have sort of, you know, midday daylight on your watch face. And it's, it looks pretty tight. The reason I really enjoy this is the font and the white ticks. You can see the white ticks is what the current seconds are. And it makes the watch face look clean and simple it's there it's free and yeah you should check it out all right guys so the next application we're checking out is called time in words now this is a dollar in the google play store but with this you can see a block of random letters with the time being lit up in letters not numbers so it says it is 20 past 8 2 and then the minutes are displayed in the little dots down there so right now it's 8 22 so you can tell from basically what it's telling you in the words now sometimes it is a little hard to know what time it is because it's not that it tells you in a way where it's really hard to understand for example sometimes it will be like it's a quarter past six or something like that and 
you know sometimes a lot of people don't really understand what time it is completely but it'll take you if you're really good at telling what time it is in letters you won't have a hard time with this at all it tells you the day the month the minutes and it will tell you a.m. or p.m. and your battery percentage as well definitely give it a try it's called time in words only a dollar if you don't like it refund it all right guys so the next application we're going to be checking out is called coffee this is free in the google play store now this is not an application to give you coffee but it is an application to reply to your messages in a better way on your android wear device so here we go here i got a text message from daniel ariza the other how to men and it says check out this app now the reason i wanted him to text me this is so i can show you guys how this app works now i know the original app uh on your phone the messenger google app replies automatically already but we're going to be checking out how it replies on coffee and here you can see the conversation itself we're just going to hit reply and here are the options it gives you automatically it's going to give you some simple messages most most of the time people send so no problem great things okay see you soon so these are the main things people text randomly uh when they just want to end the conversation right then and there but you have other options as well for example you're confused you don't know what you just said uh, you can say i don't know i'm not sure either way is fine you decide uh, if you go back you can go in here and you can say i'm busy right now i'll get back to you later uh, i'm busy until one something like that if you go in here uh, this is mostly for those that you love so for someone that you're intimate about you can say i love you i miss you thinking about you you're the best something like that you just want to reply by voice you can as well all right bro thanks and it's going to send it automatically let that send and it's sent and you can save it as well there it is all right bro thanks that was right now and he'll reply soon if you want more options to send to people check out this application it's called coffee all right guys the next application we're checking out is called wear counter so here it is it's pretty basic now with this application you have the option of counting on your android wear device so you can just tap on it and it will add up that's pretty much all it does it will just count for you so that way when you're on the run or if you're doing laps or something or you're just counting something up this will keep track of it every single time let's say you accidentally pressed it more than once you can just keep on removing it as many times as you want and tapping on it will just add one more number to it you can also restart it by pressing the refresh button and you can also twist your wrist to count as well to enable it you just tap on the center of the circle and it will say wrist sensor on so every single time you flick your wrist the numbers will keep on adding up by its own on itself and you can just disable it by just tapping it and holding it down on the screen again and we'll turn it off so that way every single time you move your wrist it won't keep on adding up the numbers it's called wear counter free so why not all right guys the next application we're going to be checking out is called wear mini launcher now with this app you can quickly launch any app from anywhere and access your quick settings on your watch automatically pretty tight stuff so if we go and grab from the left side we can pop up there's our launcher with all of our apps in it and you can just launch whatever you want so if i want to go into the settings i can just tap on the settings and pop up the settings there if i want to choose another application let's say i want to look at the moto body heart rate we can launch it up automatically doesn't even have to be on your home screen you can just grab it up and let's say you want to go into fit pop up fit and it will tell you how many steps you have and you can swipe once more and bring up quick settings on your watch so if you want to lower the brightness you can so there you go if you want to higher it up you will you can turn off the wi-fi on your phone you can uh, enable the ringer turn off everything and it will also tell you what your battery percentage is at and here's the application itself on our device it's basically the settings so you can it, you can customize a bunch of stuff on this thing so you can customize the icon size really small uh, maybe you want to do a column of six i recommend just two or three is fine as well they look pretty cool now you can see the the columns they pop up one by one wear mini launcher check it out now all right guys so the next application we're checking out is actually on your device basically this app is called wear app manager it's a dollar in the google play store but with this it will allow you to see what applications run for your android wear device some of these applications i never even knew had android wear support in them until i got this application i can tap on one and pop it up 
I can have the storage details, I can have the internals, the permissions it uses, I can launch it up on my Wear application. So here I can actually see it, it will launch it up automatically. Well, it's already there, so that, there it is. And I can go in here, open it on the phone if it allows me to. I can share the link to whoever I want to, obviously my third party applications, and I can open it up in the Google Play Store. So let's open it up in the Google Play Store. Wear counter, there it is. If we go back, you can also have the option of uninstalling it automatically. And that's really what I enjoy about this application is the fact that it tells you every single application that is being used for your watch. And it will also tell you in the notifications for updates on your Wear apps only. Definitely a cool way to go. Check it out in the Google Play Store now. All right, guys. So the last application I wanted to show off to you guys is an application called Look Behind. It's a dollar in the Google Play Store. And really, you can use your phone and your watch at the same time to actually use your camera. So you can move your phone around like this and the camera will appear on here and you can't really take a picture with your watch, but it allows you to view what's behind you, what's in front of you just by using your watch. So let me just demonstrate what I'm talking about here. I know it's a little hard uh, what I'm saying. So here I go. It's called look behind. I can just open it up. And currently my phone is off and you can see my camera is enabled. It looks dope. I'm moving my phone around and my camera or my watch is capturing every single thing that is in front of me. If I want to look what's behind me, I can just uh, enable the front facing camera. And there you can see that's my face. Hello. And uh, yeah, you could do the flash as well. If you really want to do a flash, you can do flash. So let's enable flash and it's enabled. Uh, I don't really know how I can show it off, but trust me, it's enabled and you can rotate the watch. I don't know why you would want to do that. Maybe you're just faced a different way. Definitely check out this application. It's cool. And yeah, why not? Look behind. All right, so thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's the top 10 best Android apps of 2015. I tried to see what applications were the best. I even asked you guys on Facebook what you guys thought were the best Android Wear applications. And you guys gave me a lot of feedback. So I'm thanking you about that. And I will be making another segment of top Android Wear applications because I know there's a bunch out there so I can't just leave you guys with one episode and one video because a lot of you guys I know there's more applications and there probably there's probably better ones out there for Android Wear so stay tuned for that don't forget to follow us on our social media pages and I will see you guys in the next one kapow